Hi, Amanda. Thank you for following me here at Dr. Latin Heat. I'm Dr. Cornejo. Thank you for your question. You want to know why nobody talks about breast implant illness. And I just wanted to take a minute to explain what this is and how we uh, approach this condition. Uh, fortunately, it's very rare. Um, in my experience, I haven't seen a single patient with breast implant illness, and we do a lot of breast augmentation. So that's a good thing that this is a rare condition. However, um, it is it is real. Some patients do have a lot of symptoms that may be associated with the implants, but the, the thing is that these symptoms can be very vague. Normally, patients present with fatigue, um, hair loss, uh, brain fog, joint pain, gastrointestinal symptoms. And so the first thing to do is identify what the symptoms are. We rarely rush into the operating room to remove the implants. Instead, we do a, a workup. Normally, um, we send these patients uh, with specialists, uh, such as rheumatologists or neurologists, or it can be a gastroenterologist. It depends on the symptoms. Some patients may have connective tissue disorders or autoimmune problems. Some patients have thyroid problems, and so a thorough evaluation has to be done. Now, um, sometimes you identify certain conditions that may explain the symptoms, and it's very important to treat them. But sometimes all the workup is negative. And so in these situations, I sit down with uh, patients and I tell them that the only way to know if the implants are causing all these problems is to remove them and then see what happens. Uh, so the, when, whenever I've had patients um, that present with very non-specific symptoms, um, I always, like I said, first we do a workup and then if everything is negative and there's no other solution, then those implants need to be removed. Um, again, it's a rare condition. Uh, most patients are totally fine. Uh, remember that when we put breast implants, the patient signed an informed consent uh, and it's a checklist. And, and, and uh, in that informed consent, uh, we do talk about breast implant illness.